folk tale, a local story, more than a folk tale. It uh, concerns uh, a strange incident that happened in Ballygally Bay many, many years ago. It was the year 1823. And after a huge storm that swept the whole of this part of the world, a boat, a small wooden boat, washed up on the bay at Ballygally. Well, inside the boat, there was a woman, and in her arms was a wee baby. Well, the woman was dead, but the child that was little more than a day or two old was alive, breathing, but only just. Well, a local family took the child in, and they cared for the child, and it survived. And it thrived, and the child grew up, and it was christened Jane. Everybody was amazed that this child had been able to survive the storm and everything that had happened to it. And because she was delivered by the sea, the local people called her Marina Jane. She grew up into a lovely young girl. And eventually into a beautiful young woman. And Marina married a local man, a man by the name of Park. Now Park was a tenant farmer, like most people around the glens of Antrim and this, this part of the world at that time. And like most tenant farmers, they were poor. And like a lot of tenant farmers that lived along the coast, to supplement his income, he would go to sea for part of the year, during the leanest part of the year. And he would leave Jane to look after whatever wee bit of farm that they had. Well, during one of his voyages, Jane had a dream. She dreamt that her husband was drowned at sea. Well, they had been such a happy and loving couple, everyone said. They they didn't have any children, at least none that survived or were recorded. But heartbroken about this dream as Jane was, she began to act very strangely. And the neighbour folk tried to console her and, and tell her that it was just a dream and that her husband would return, but she couldn't be consoled. And she took to walking up and down the beach at Bally Galley with the cold surf breaking around her ankles and her staring out to sea hoping to see the mast or the seals of a ship on the horizon well of course she saw many ships in, as there were in those days but none that carried her husband and he never returned days became weeks weeks became months months became years and Marina Jane's wee farm fell into disrepair. She couldn't meet the rent. She was evicted by the bailiffs. And she set up home on Ballygally Bay. She built a cabin with her own bare hands. She built it of beach stones. And she thatched it with driftwood and seaweed that she collected from round about. And she survived by collecting dulse and seaweed and whelks and other fish from the rock pools and she managed somehow to survive. Well, she became a bit of a, a local curiosity, even a celebrity. And as the years went on, people started to come to Glens of Antrim, to the Glens of Antrim as tourists, rich Victorians who came to learn and were taken in, in uh, horse and coach tours up the, to, to places like Carnlock and Glenariff by the famous Henry McNeil. And the tourists used to stop at Ballygally to see this strange, strange woman, Marina Jane. And she used to sell them little bags of dulse and that helped her to survive. And she got a few coppers from the Poor Relief Fund well, 
One of those tourists took a photograph, an early plate photograph of Marina Jane. And you can see this photograph to this day. It's in the museum in Larne. And she's sitting outside her wee stone cabin, dressed in rags, barefoot, and a, a piece of cloth tied around her head. And she looks for all the world like some exotic native from a, a far off land. And who knows? But she might have been, because no one was ever able to discover where Marina Jean came from. Well, in the year 1894, another big storm came. It had been threatening uh, all day. The, the clouds and the sky got darker and darker and heavier and heavier. And the local people tried to persuade Marina Jean to leave her wee cabin just for one day. But she refused. They even got a constable of police from the, from the RIC to come and try and coax her to come up and stay with one of the neighbours just for a night. But she wouldn't leave off her wee cabin or her watch for her husband that she believed would return to her one day. Well, eventually the storm broke and the clouds opened and were torn to tatters by the wind and the rain and the hail came down in bucket loads. And as the sea surged up over the beach wall, it swept away Marina Jane's wee cabin and her along with it. Well, when the storm died down a day or two later, Marina Jane's body was found along the coast, not far away from where her cabin had once stood. And the people said that in her case, the sea giveth, and the sea taketh away. And that's a true story. 